The mask. We've all worn one, forgotten one, torn one, pulled one over our nose, sneezed inside one. 2020 made our relationship with the mask intimate and especially annoying. We know the mask well and appreciate all it's done to keep us safe this year. We also know masks can be worn for other more joyful reasons. Masks can be used per for performance, entertaining, art, and also for disguise and protection. But do you know the history behind the mask? This picture shows the oldest mask known to mankind. It is believed by scientists that this mask was made by cavemen in Palestine during 7000 BC. The use of masks in rituals or ceremonies is a very ancient human practice across the world. Many cultures have their own mask history. But today, we will focus on the beautiful and rich traditions associated with African tribal masks and their influence on art everywhere today. Happy Black History Month today and every day. Before we begin, you must remember that Africa is a continent. There are countless amounts of groups, tribes, languages, cities, countries, and beliefs. Because of this, tribes had and still have to this day their own customs and traditions on how and why they create masks. In most traditional African cultures, the person who wears a ritual mask loses their human life and turns into the spirit represented by the mask itself. It is believed that the specific types of music and dance, ritual costumes, contribute to the shedding of the mask wearer's human identity. The mask wearer thus becomes a sort of medium, which is a person who can be a link between the people and the spirits. Masked dances are part of most traditional African ceremonies related to weddings, funerals, and initiation rites or growing up ceremonies. It is believed that the more detail, time, and care put into the mask, the closer the wearer becomes to the spirits. The African tribal's artist training, which may last many years, involves the secret knowledge of traditional carving techniques and how these apply to the social and religious objects they create. The craft can be learned as an apprentice in the workshop of a master carver, or sometimes these skills are passed down from family member to family member. Tribal masks are based on the look of a human or animal face, but in a more abstract form. They aren't made to look exactly like a human face. In fact, some tribes, like the Bois people, look very little like an actual face. African tribes really show their creativity, intelligence, and uniqueness through their differing styles of masks. Geometric patterns are an essential design element in many African masks and carvings. Geometric pattern creates an external rhythm which echoes the internal spiritual energy of the artwork. It can also be used as a coded language where the design communicates secret knowledge to those in the know. Each shape or pattern means something different for each tribe. Did you know that all modern and abstract art was in some way or another influenced by African mask design? The most famous example of this is Pablo Picasso, the creator of the art style Cubism. He was inspired when he was viewing African tribal artifacts and incorporated them into his art. But he didn't appreciate the societal and spiritual significance these masks hold. Before this, most mainstream art looked like the real world. Few people know the influence African masks have had in art today and specifically abstract art as we know it. 
Artists of African diaspora, or black people, have claimed the African mask art back. Lois Malou Jones is a well-known specific trailblazer. She was an artist and professor at Howard University. Jones was an artist at a time during Jim Crow laws. Because of racism in America, she had limited opportunities. But Lois Jones never gave up. She is now known as a true pioneer for Black artists everywhere. Another Black artist dedicated to reclaiming the African mask art of his ancestors is Kimmy Cantrell. Kimmy is still alive today and lives in Atlanta, Georgia. He went to college for business, but later in life found his love for art again. As you can see, his art has a clear resemblance to African masks with a twist of his own asymmetrical, unique ideas.